Hi everyone, it's Justine here from House of Mahalo. Thanks so much for joining me. So I'm just popping on quickly to do um, an Etsy restock video. So I wanted to show you some goodies that I've got going up in the Etsy shop later this week. Um, just on the off chance that anyone watching would like to reserve anything before I put it in the shop, um, as always, you're more than welcome to do that. You just need to send me an email um, so that I know. Um, otherwise, um, this is just a quick look at some bits and bobs that I'll be putting up in the Etsy shop this week. So um, the first thing is this beautiful uh, writing folio. Um, we made this together on camera a couple of weeks ago and it's um, basically I upcycled an antique music book cover. Um, this is what you see here. Um, and I turned it into a writing folio um, and obviously cleaned up the cover and everything. Um, I did do a full video on it. Um, so yeah, here's what it is. So we've got a writing folio. Um, the ribbon uh, closure is removable, so you don't need to, to keep that if you don't want to. Um, it does lie, you know, nice and flat now that it's had time to settle. So um, the closure isn't really necessary unless you, you like the look of it. I've added a cobajon here with a poppy inside just to finish it off and we've got vintage gold upholstery fabric uh, which I used as the spine and that's the back um, it's it's not got the gold on the back it's just got the the inlay but I have gone around the whole entire cover with um, gold acrylic paint which hopefully you can see it's quite large um, I will do some measurements in a moment um, and then all the gold around here and of course the cover itself on the front has got the gold inlay Okay, so this is what we open up into. Hopefully I've got you all in. Um, so here was an inscription from 1882 um, that was inside the book cover. And it's um, it was basically, uh, I think the music book itself was gifted to somebody who was studying the piano back then. So that's what the inscription is related to. Um, to keep that safe, um, I have put a frame around it with some acetate in the frame. Um, just so that you know we could keep that um, keep that preserved in history. Um, I added some butterflies here um, and a couple of little pockets and these are the first bits of ephemera. So we've got a few things from the cottage rose kit from Nanine at Collage Type. Um, there's just some elements in there which you could use to you know decorate up your letters or use as uh, writing cards or, or such like. So it's part writing folio, part ephemera holder, I suppose. Um, but of course you could replace what's in the pockets and, um, you know, just um, yeah, go with what you want to put. Um, some more elements from the kit. Uh, I've printed these onto linen paper, so it's got a really nice vintage kind of a feel to it. All collaged around there. Um, this is the original, um, the, the sort of title page, I suppose, for the music book inside. Um, it was the only page that came with the cover and um, so I was able to preserve that. Oops. And that flips open, just move it over, there we are, um, to reveal a notepad here. Um, this is removable. Um, I've got it hooked in with a paper clip which just hooks off and then you can remove the whole thing like so um, with this strip just here. Um, there are three sheets of parchment paper in there and they are removable so this topper that I've put on it it's just tied on with some twine so you once you've used the papers you could replace those with with other ones um, so that just hooks on over the flap she says <laughs> as I say the music book's quite large so it's a little bit tricky to see what I'm doing there, I think I'm in. There we are. Um, and then we've got some more pockets here, just so. Decorated up with an element from the kit on the bottom here. Um, and then inside we've got some Edith Holden envelopes, which I thought would go with the papers. Um, these ones are a parchment paper, these ones are just a really good quality paper. Dif uh, two different kinds for envelopes. But of course, if you wanted to use it as an ephemera holder, you could just replace those. Um, and then in the top there, um, one of the pages from Nanine's kit, I've um, printed onto linen paper and just cut down into two, two journal cards. Okay. 
and and that's and that's a lot it's only a you know a small folio it's not um not all flips and flaps the idea being is that you could have this um you know on your desk or, or something um i best put that paper clip on the paper clip is just so that when you do the flap um the papers don't you know move around on you that's all just keeps it all nice and nice and tidy there we are um so this is going in the etsy shop and i will do a um some measurements in a second let me just uh, tidy up this bow okay so height wise we are just over 12 inches um so I, th I believe it's probably about 12 and a quarter inches tall and we are, I believe that's nine and a quarter inches wide. So quite a big uh, music book, but uh, really, really beautiful. And I had an absolute amazing, wonderful time um, jazzing this up, cleaning it up, um, just giving it a new, a new life. So I hope that you like it. Um, as I say, I did make it on video. Um, so this will be going in my Etsy shop. Okay, and then the other things going in the shop are related to my Edith Holden projects that we've been working on uh, in July. Um, so I'll take you through the ephemera bundles first. Okay, so I've got two packs of ephemera. So this is um, mostly handmade ephemera that I've made mostly on video. Um, so I've got two packs available. I've got the Thrive pack and the Bloom Where You're Planted pack. So I'll take you through the Thrive one first of all. Um, so hooked on there, I've got one of my Lacy Word dangles. It's on a bowl pin, so you can just unhook it from the bag and use it in your, your projects. And uh, both sets are 10 pieces each. Okay, so this is the Thrive bundle. So the first thing is we made this um, uh, junk mail envelope pocket together. So there is a pocket in the front, just here. And I've got a couple of vintage tea cards in there. And these are from the Wildflowers series. And then in the actual envelope, we have an image from the Edith Holden books with the ivy and a Tracy Fox label, uh, backed onto some cereal box. Um, and then I haven't decorated the back of the envelope. Um, so the back is left as it was. Um, so if you wanted to use this in, in something, then Either you cover it up for a floating pocket or the idea is that you, you stick it down onto something. So that's that one. Um, each bundle comes with another Edith Holden envelope and also a piece of writing paper. I have another junk mail envelope pocket here, slightly different from the first. This one has a side tuck which I've got some vintage tickets in, but you could replace that with, with something else. And this one also has a pocket in the back. And this one has the Lords and Ladies plant, I believe that is, from the Edith Holden books. This one's backed onto Manila card. Um, both of them collaged up with music page in the windows. Um, and similar to the first, I've not backed this one. So you could use this for some writing space, or you could just glue you know the whole thing down. Here we've got another junk mail envelope uh, made into pockets. So this one I've done some collaging on the front to make almost like a little like notebook type thing. Um, we have a pocket in the front just here and this one has two pockets from the the flap of the envelope with some of the Edith Holden papers on it. Um, my ideas for this was to um, have it stitched into a signature as you know an insert a pocket insert or you could even turn it into a little notebook if you want um, and then on the back I've just put some note paper and um, uh, some fussy cuts just so that if it was in a uh, in a signature then obviously you see all sides so that's that one um, this one is a paper bag pocket made with the, the book pages so there's a pocket in the front and then the whole thing is a pocket and once again, um, you can either cover up the back if it's a floating pocket or um, have it just, um, you know, glued down onto a page. Um, this one is one of the trifold writing spots that we made on video together. Um, so this one just unties with a bit of ribbon. And we've got some, some of the Edith Holden fussy cuts. Space to write here on the inside as well. 
we have some pockets with just a couple of bits tucked in and then on the very back there's also space to write but if you didn't want it to be like a floating writing spot you could just glue the whole thing down onto a page um, or you could even have it as an insert in a journal you would just have to uh, do a different kind of a closure on it uh, if you're going to do that that's that one we have a tag made from the book pages backed onto brown cereal box and we've also got one of these these are my um the trifold like side pocket things um each one has just a plain craft tag with an eyelet um, and the idea is that this you know gets glued down onto like a flippy flappy envelope or you could glue it down onto a page um, the back is just the edith holden paper so that is the first bundle as i say i'm calling that one thrive after the word dangle on the front that's the paper um, and i will move on to the next one now and as i say you get the you get the pretty dangle as well So this one is Bloom Where You're Planted. Um, so this one has this beautiful dangle on. Again, this is on a ball pin silver one this time uh, with some pink ribbon. And this is again a 10 piece pack. We have a paper bag pocket, just like the last one here and in here with yellow and butterflies this time. Uh, we have another junk mail envelope pocket and um, this one also has a wildflowers vintage tea card and this one I did the pocket in the front slightly differently where you also get this little tuck space in the front and I've just popped a vintage ticket in there and this is the card for inside backed onto a cereal box as well and just like before um, you could decorate this up or glue the whole thing down um, another envelope and piece of note paper. This is one of the envelope pockets that we did. Um, so this one is the beautiful botanical and daisy collaging. So just like before, we have a pocket in the front. Got two pockets here and here. And we've also got some note paper on the back. Once again, with the idea that this could be an insert or a notebook or, or something like that. Um, this is a little envelope uh, pocket that I've made with the book pages. So this one has the ribbon uh, taped on so that you, you can't lose it, but you can just take the tape off and, and remove the ribbon if you, if you don't want that one. So this is the Hawthorne image. And we flip out. We've got a little pocket just here, and I've put in some butterfly tea cards. They're vintage ones, real vintage. Um, and then that flips open for you to read this poem from the Edith Holden books. And that just ties up with the idea that that can be, you know, glued down onto the bottom of your page um, and used as a, a, a pocket. Like I would glue this on three sides and use the whole thing as a pocket. Uh, this one has two tags. Um, so we have these two images backed onto Manila card. And this one also has a trifold writing spot similar to the first. This one has vintage seam binding closure, this beautiful pink flower, some more fussy cuts there, um, a couple of tags in the pockets, and space to write on the back. And as I say, that is the Bloom Where You're Planted bundle, um, both, both ready to go. Um, so that's those um, and I also have some Edith Holden like starter kits available so I will show you those now okay so I've got three of these available sorry about the shiny I will show you without the plastic in a minute um, so these are starter kits for making your own Edith Holden uh, altered file folder similar to how I did on video um, now this isn't going to be absolutely everything you could possibly need but it will give you a really really good start for making your own altered file folder so as I mentioned I've got three of these available they're all the same apart from the book pages 
so I will um I'll show you this one in detail and then I'll just show you what the book pages are in the other two so all of them come with the different trims that I used in the project so we've got some of the elastic for putting the removable journal inside I've got some lace uh, crochet trim here which I used for decorating up um you know like the paper bag pockets I've just shown you and things like that some blush ribbon which you can use as your closure and some tea dyed lace uh, which I've dyed myself which I use along the spine of the file folder so those are all nicely packaged up I think I've done about just over a meter of of each so um there should be yeah plenty <laughs> plenty to go okay so the first thing then is you get the file folder itself and I have done the scoring for you already with a quarter inch spine, so you don't have to worry about that. The idea for these is they are for beginners who just want to dive straight into doing something um, and you don't need to worry about measurements and, and such like. Um, so that's ready to go. And here's what you get alongside that. So each bundle comes with a Edith Holden card, which you might like to use in your journaling. Uh, a piece of writing paper and an envelope like what you've seen so the idea is that you could use those in the project as ephemera etc etc we've got a cd uh, wallet paper bag three large i believe these are to fit like large greeting cards so maybe a5 sized good quality white envelopes um, I always use these when uh, doing the file folders. Um, they are large, they're larger than the file folder, so you will need to cut them down. But the great thing about that is you can cut them down to fit the ephemera that you're going to add in. I'll go through the book pages in a second. They all have five uh, sheets of vintage music sheet. I use this alongside Edith Holden for when I wanted to do like, you know, backings of envelopes and, and things um collaging and such like so it wasn't all edith holden so five sheets of that and 10 edith holden book pages so this is the one uh i don't know bundle number one we can call this hyacinth um just because i've put some um, yeah this at the front so we've got this book page the goldfinch poppies heather uh, some of the greenery and butterflies and yellow flowers won't go through them all well that's a double page I've kept that as a double um, so you know you could use that for for various things some of the violets and that last one okay so as I said all the bundles are the same it's just the book pages that are different so I will show you the uh, different book pages now sorry I forgot to mention as well they also come with the book plate that I used on the front I forgot about that I was looking at it this way but it goes this way <laughs> um, so yeah they all have the book plate um, you would just need to add your brads okay so I've just shown you this one so I'll show you this one next so we can call this butterfly so this is this one the book pages beautiful rabbit that one is a double so you've got the violets on the back and this beautiful blackthorn images these ones are from the uh, the nature notes book really pretty images um, I haven't got any of the Edith Holden text left because I used a lot of it in my own projects and um, so as I say these these starter kits they're starter kits um, not with the intention that they're just absolutely everything that you need but I hope that they would help someone who doesn't have as many supplies to um, you know to go ahead and and start making it and we'll call this one foxgloves so this is this one I focused on the spring and summer images as best as I could from what I had left over and uh, that's that one so yeah I just hope that you know someone will enjoy making their own file folders I do have a three-part series on how I made mine um, 
which we most mostly did together. And that is those. So as I said, three of those available, all ready to go, packaged up and ready. Um, so I'll just clear away and then I'll say my goodbyes. And that's everything that will be going into the Etsy shop this week then. Um, so as I mentioned, I've got two Edith Holden ephemera bundles, uh, Thrive and Bloom Where You're Planted. We've got the antique writing folio, and then we've got the three uh, starter kits for making an Edith Holden file folder. Um, I have kept tried to keep the costs down for these as much as I possibly can. Um, so if anyone would like to reserve anything before it goes into the Etsy shop, then please just email me. Um, or if you want to ask about pricing, then just yeah, send me a message. Um, otherwise, these will be up in the Etsy shop later this week. Um, and yeah, I hope you have a lovely rest of your week. Um, and yeah, thanks ever so much for those of you who commented on my Mahalo Monthly video that I did on Sunday. Um, it was it felt really good to be able to do one of those, you know, recent catch up type videos and you seem to enjoy it. So I'll definitely keep doing those. I am still tweaking the format and trying to work out what works best. But, you know, we'll we'll, we'll get there as I learn more about all this. Um, and yeah, uh, I hope you don't mind me popping up a little bit more frequently. Um, obviously, I've got a lot of the Tim Holtz videos pre filmed that you're you know going to be watching, hopefully. Um, so little videos like this, I can just sort of pop in and say hello and uh, show you some goodies and, and different things. So that's it from me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that little look at the goodies that I've got. And um, I wish you a lovely rest of your week. Speak soon. Bye bye for now.